Hello everyone, this is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. Listen, I'm not going to say who it was. Not important. Not important. But what I've noticed is these women on YouTube are starting to try to uh, retaliate and close the gap on some of us YouTubers who talk about these dating issues and marriage and relationship issues. I was, I was watching a video where one of them, she was literally playing these long text messages that one of my favorite YouTubers that I've learned a lot through the years from was sending her. And it's like, she was mocking like polygyny. Like polygyny is not to be mocked. You know, the methods that some people choose, that's them. But that don't mean that the whole system itself should be mocked. And, and you guys better recognize that if, if y'all better be ready because this person know how to talk. But me personally, I don't think she can talk. Like, I mean, she is looking at how she dressed. Like, I really don't see why the guy was interested in her. I mean, that's not even wife material. When they dress like that, that's not even like wife material. Like, you know. I mean, just as far as face average, just a little, maybe a pinch above. But she went in on the guy, man. Like, she went in on him. And then I saw on her uh, her about, because, you know, I be, I be all over. I be saying what's going on on YouTube. She had this big thing where she was saying, basically, if anybody, blah, 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 blah. Send her an email. So she think because she got got a hold to him that she gonna get a hold to all the rest of us. But oh, who cares? Like marriage is still dangerous. Marriage is still not worth it. Monogamy, especially, especially if you got looking at her, all them tattoos and how she dressed in modest. She is not gonna be a wife material. Now, do you want that to be your only wife? Do you want that to be your wife at all? She's probably a nice person. But looking at her, that's not a wife, man. That's not a wife, man. And she's not going to listen to nobody. And he should have knew that. Like it's, it's like it's making me look at him different. I mean, he helped me a lot through the years. Like, well, I used to celebrate Christmas, all type of stuff. But her dude? No. No. Y'all And y'all guys, man, I tell y'all all the time. It's not what they think of us. It's what we think of us. It's not when you're dealing with women, it's not how they think you look. It's how you perceive yourself. It's how you value yourself and your own self-esteem, just like them. We could talk about how they delusional all day, but they really should be delusional because they should have they should have self-esteem about themselves. It's just for us to figure out. Nah, not for me. You know. But she went in on the man like. And I'm sitting there watching this like she played the the, the receipts. She had receipts. Me personally. No. Just by the dress alone. And then the potty mouth, no. No, I could say if a woman. A woman has to either not cuss at all 
or if she just telling what somebody said, or if it's occasional, you can work with her. But that potty mouth, no. That dress, no. And you guys need to stop softening up because these women coming back at y'all. That's why everybody in this space don't have the right motives. Because if you, if you are too soft towards women, this space ain't for you. Like you, you really shouldn't be like, well, anybody has a right to comment or make a video, but I'm saying they gonna eat you alive if you don't know what you're talking about. Because they shouldn't be able to bring up your financial situation or how you look. That's not enough for them to win this argument. They shouldn't be able to do that and win. You see what I'm saying? Because those are only two components. Because just because you find a dude who, who you think is attractive and got money, that don't mean you gonna, he going to treat you like gold. Nine times out of ten, he's going to treat you like trash because he got so many options. And y'all dudes should know that, man. When y'all listen to these women talk, make them be honest about their sex exploits through their lifetime. Because if you are a little higher than a street walker or a little lord, how are we even hearing from you? That's just pure narcissism and arrogance. How are we hearing from you? Not to say I don't know her like that. But I'm saying like, I guarantee you some of these women just talking about this stuff. Man, they done been all around the world. And I, 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 they ain't finding they baby. Because most guys can see right now. I think a lot of guys really can see through that. Some of them just be like, I don't care. I just want to smash. But your financial situation, your looks, it's not enough because they, they're one woman. What one woman? You know how many women it is? Women, every woman is not going to be attracted to you. I see women all the time that's not attracted to me. I see women all the time that is. I mean, you got, you got a, what do they call it? Sapiosexuals? Where some women, they just attracted to intelligent guys, which I might sound like I'm a, a hood guy, but you better believe that intelligence is there. Some people hype, 6'2". Every woman is different. Y'all be letting women have y'all like, like a wounded dog. Y'all be in the corner over stuff they say. When did you become more than the help? Clearly you don't believe in the Bible. So now they thing is, oh, this, how do you know that's a, they downplaying the Bible. Any woman that downplays the Bible to be pedestalized by men or to tell men what to do, just you, she's got to go. She got to go. See, a lot of y'all letting these women hang around, but once they start being divided from you and disrespecting you, you hang on, them blessings ain't going to flow freely to you anyway. You're going to have, boom, the blessing going to hit right where she at. You got to get her on board or throw her overboard. I ain't talking about physically. She won't get on board. She got to go overboard. Because the ship, that's dead weight. The ship need to sail freely. Y'all dealing with these women who ain't with you, ain't giving you none, don't want to give you none, not even attracted to you like that. And you ain't planning to get rid of her? Or to if y'all got kids and y'all trying to raise y'all kids together, I can see that where you you trying to 
severed from the relationship aspect in a, a, a way, you know, we'll talk about this later. You know, says the truth man channel is a no matrix, no simp in all subjects channel. I'm going to return to this subject. I just have something important I got to do real quick. I'm going to return to this subject. We're going to talk about this more.